a man was shot dead near his home at Whitehall in Negril, Westmoreland, on Tuesday morning. He has been identified as 24-year-old Brandon Hall, otherwise called Shay. Reports are that around 3 a.m., Hall had just arrived home and entered his house. It is reported that a motorcycle with two men aboard rode into the lane where he lives. Hall came out of the house and walked down into the lane towards the motorcycle. He talked to the men on the motorcycle for about ten minutes, and then two loud explosions were heard. Shortly after, Hall was found lying along the roadway in a pool of blood. The police were summoned and found Hall lying along the roadway with what appeared to be gunshot wounds to his head and right shoulder. The body was transported to the Savannah Lamar Hospital, where it was pronounced dead, while no motive has been established for the killing. The Bank of Jamaica is calling for a more structured approach to implementing increases for bus and taxi fares going forward. The central bank made the call during its latest monetary policy decision, announced on Sunday. In the same announcement, the BOJ agreed to hold its policy rate despite concerns over inflation. Jamaica's headline inflation rate in February 2024 of 6.2% remains above the bank's target of 4 to 6%. The BOJ attributes the higher than targeted inflation impact on the first of two increases in public passenger vehicle fares that came into effect in October 2023. It also takes into account the effect of wage increases throughout the economy. The Bank of Jamaica says some changes in regulated prices do not reflect current demand conditions and could potentially reduce the effectiveness of its monetary policy in managing inflation. In this regard, it noted the need for more structured approaches to implementing these price changes. The criticism comes days after Prime Minister Andrew Holness announced a further increase in the minimum wage to $15,000 for a 40-hour work week. The central bank says inflation is projected to remain above the bank's target range over the March 24 to June 25 quarters, primarily due to the continuing impact of past and impending increases in PPV fares. The policy decision came out before announcements by the government that the second round of PPV fare increases had been placed on indefinite hold. It says without the impact of the two increases in PPV fares, inflation would fall within the target range of 4 to 6 percent for most of 2024. But despite the concerns over inflation, the BOJ remains bullish about Jamaica's economic standing. International commodity prices and shipping costs continue to decline, the exchange rate has remained generally stable, as have strong tourism and remittance inflows. The bank says the Jamaican economy continues to expand, which supports increases in aggregate demand for goods and services. Real gross domestic product for the December 2023 quarter is estimated to have grown within the range of 1-3%, to and there are signs that the economy continue to expand in the March 2024 quarter. The BOJ says buoyancy in the economy is mirrored in the decline in the unemployment rate in October 2023 to a record low of 4.2%. The Bank of Jamaica says the risk to gross domestic product GDP forecast over the next eight quarters are assessed to be on the upside. This means that actual GDP growth is likely to trend higher. An elderly woman was made the subject of strict bail conditions when she appeared in the Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Court on Monday, facing allegations that she stabbed a member of her church in the back at the House of Worship. Janet Myers was offered bail in the sum of $250,000, with condition that she resides with her sister and is not to have contact or communicate with the complainant. Another condition imposed by presiding Judge Carlo Mason requires that Myers abides by a daily curfew and is to receive psychiatric treatment. The elderly woman was also instructed to stay away from the vicinity where the incident happened. Allegations state that Myers stabbed the complainant in her spine while she was in the bathroom of the church. However, prosecutors contend that the case file is incomplete and requested an adjournment. 
a man was shot and injured by a businessman who is a licensed firearm holder in Spalding, Manchester, on Tuesday morning. The man was reportedly shot after the 68-year-old businessman heard sounds of a prowler on his premises. The police said the 39-year-old injured man, said to be a laborer from Kobla district in the parish, has since been hospitalized, but his condition is not considered life-threatening. Reports reaching the local media indicated that the incident occurred around 2 a.m. The police have declined to give further details on the incident until they do further investigations. The charred remains of a former policeman was discovered in a section of Mountain Pass District St. Catherine on Tuesday. He has been identified as 72-year-old Albert Campbell of Mountain Pass District. Campbell's burnt body was found near an abandoned quarry about 3.30 p.m. The body was reportedly found after a bushfire in the area and was removed for a post-mortem. Sharon Marley, the daughter of Rita and Bob Marley, returns to the music scene with the release of a new single, Steppa, featuring Big Youth, a DJ, and legendary early generation of Jamaican toaster. Since deciding to leave the band The Melody Makers in 2002, Sharon has taken a long hiatus from music in terms of recording and performing. February of 2024. So it's all about the king man, see? And the queen. Take it out, throw away off the road. You see me? So basically what Stepa is talking about is me talking to my first love and saying, you know, why can't we talk, call me for good old time, baby? You understand me? Because I don't think there'll probably be one true stepper in a woman's life. You know, she might have several boyfriends, several baby fathers, several husbands. I've had a few of those. But I think there's only one real step up in your life, and that's that man that you know you can always depend on, whether they're together or not. You know? That's a step up. And then again, he's, a, he's also a godfather for his community. You know, meaning him want to make sure everybody in the community working, give them jobs, check for them families, you know? And your family can always call on him as well. I mean, where do you find those kind of people that come one in a million, you know? So, yeah, this song was about my stepper that my son wrote. My son wrote. <laughs> so my, is son that... wrote my son wrote about my stepper. <laughs> okay. So is a stepper has to be a man or a stepper can be a woman or a man? It it's, well, it's, it depends on the role. The stepper is a man because remember, so even Beyonce say um, women are gangsters too, right? You understand? Is that what she said? She said, yeah, women can be. What was the word? She used another one word. It wasn't gangster, but whatever it was, I'm saying. A woman to me, you know, a woman stepper would be the gang girl, which is me, right? So I'm the female version of the stepper. That's how I program the thought in my mind. See me? Because I look out for my community just as well. And I'm an independent woman that can take care of myself. Understand? I have a male, a male in your life still for certain reasons. But... I have I've seen my mother function as a gang girl. I've seen my mother function without a husband to help her raise our children. And we never hungry. We go to school every day, even when we don't want to. <laughs> you know? She's a strong woman. She was our first manager. And my brother just can't tell you stories of how she went against the grain. You know, I remember Zidi was telling a story about one night they were going up Jackson where we lived and then blocked the road, because you know, blocked the road at Jackson. And Mommy said to the guys, they should come out to the camps and move oh, this right now. <laughs> Fearless. And so, I think I have a little bit of that in there, a little bit of fire. My children told me, Mommy, remember the time I just stopped like when the guys put on your camera and you take out 
You must sit and run him down. <laughs> but that is the kind of protector spirit I have, just like my mother protected us without a husband there. The same way I raised my children, you know, single mother. So, yeah, I'm the gang girl of the step up. Finally, I want to ask, I notice, um, Special edition and, 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 and vinyl. I mean, we know that I mean, not many people um, play vinyl in, in Jamaica nowadays. What's the thought behind um, such a move? And this one signed too. So, you know, so if you take off the wrapper, sign it, wrap it back, and put on a limited edition that means extra special. There's only 200 of these. After that, finish, that will be it, you know. But vinyl because I'm old school. Me and big you old school. <laughs> so why not work with what was around when you were in your heyday? Old school, one drop, rub off the wall, you know the the party. You understand? So it all goes together. The video, the two old people that mostly love, the vinyl. And the, the kind of look of the, the design. Because as you can see, this is not me looking cute. This is me looking grungy. <laughs> like my mother said, my mother said, what is those two things in your face? Why you look like that? I said to my mom, it's not all the time I can be pretty. Sometimes I have to be gangster. She said, no, you're the Rose of Sharon. <laughs> but yeah, sometimes you have to get grungy, you know, so... We totally enjoyed embodying that era and that idea. You know, Danisha did a great job on the video. And um, go check it out. Step on all streaming platforms. Thank you very much for speaking with IRFM. Thank you.